that so many things were said to me that that just haunted me every day and I went from having all these friends to none and that's the effects that bullying can have on you. Stranger Things breakout star Millie Bobby Brown, a victim of cyberbullying, quitting Twitter after she was attacked online. Bullying is just such, it's such a huge problem that I think so many people have just overlooked. I got bullied like terribly on social media. These are just a few of the comments that I get weekly. Um, I get you don't deserve happiness, you don't deserve to be alive. Uh, a lot of really serious things that no one should ever be told. Every girl thinks that they have to be better than the other girl. There's just a constant pressure, I guess, with everybody. Sometimes I'll say, like, you know, your stomach area is fat. And I'm like, wait, is it? Yes, as humans, we just need to really be more sympathetic towards each other. Together we can stop it. What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. My name is Hope and today is a video of the mental health series and I have one of my best friends with me. His name is Sawyer Knight. What's up? If you guys don't know him, I will leave all of his information in the description below. Go check him out. Thank he makes you. really awesome videos. Asking questions that you guys asked, sent me on Instagram. So yeah. Okay, what are some mental health struggles that come along with creating content? Oh, Jesus. There's a okay. lot. <laughs> yeah. Um, so for me, I have anxiety really bad. And I know like a, a lot of people do. So that's kind of easily to relate to. Um, whenever I go to events or like concerts, like even playlists, I literally will get sick. That's how bad my anxiety will get. Um, but also recently I got prescribed medicine for that. So like a lot of people don't want medicine for that because it doesn't work for some people or different things like that. Um, for me, it does help, but for some people the side effects are too much or it doesn't help them and they don't like it. Um, so I would try, like if, like if you're trying to fix anxiety specifically, then I would like talk to a doctor and stuff and see what they do, like what they would prefer you to do. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't self-medicate or anything like that. Cause yeah, probably not the best idea. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know if that, that I kind of went off the rails a little That's bit. That's okay. But yeah. Go wherever. Anxiety is pretty much my big issue, biggest issue with social media stuff. What do you think, well, both of us can kind of relate on this one. Okay. What do you think is the most effective way of getting away from cyber bullies? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Um, honestly, for me, I just try not to look for it because a lot of people are too scared to mention you. They just like subtweet, for me at least. I don't know if they subtweet you or not. Mm -hmm. um, most, the most of the people that are mean to me online, they just like subtweet me. So I have to tell myself just not to look it up because if you look it up, it'll be there. I try to go by this saying of don't look for the negativity because it's going to be there it's like be in your own positivity and like create your own like happiness and like try not to worry about the negative people out there because their opinions don't really matter um and also people like comment stuff on youtube all the time and normally i, do, I don't really delete videos like i don't delete comments that people leave on videos i just kind of ignore it and i know like saying ignore it ignore it is really really cliche and it's hard to do because like mm -hmm. especially if it comes in a bunch yeah uh, but yeah, it's I don't really. Yeah, it is difficult to avoid it. Um, it's also I don't want to say it's inevitable to because I don't want to scare anybody. But like when you get out there, like you put your stuff out there, there's obviously going to be a few people that don't like you. No matter and they're what, gonna you, be, you can't please everyone. Yeah, they're going to be mean about it. So just I mean, be I don't want to say like expect it, but like be prepared for it. Yeah, that's a better way to word it, and that way you'll know about it. Like know what to do, I guess. I don't know if that explains anything well or not, but... No, that makes sense. Yeah, I get that. <clears throat> How should someone explain to their friends, family, whoever, when they're feeling anxious or depressed? Because, like, a lot of people don't have kind of a support system. Yeah. Some parents don't understand. There's some generational yeah. thing where some parents are like, oh, it's in your head type yeah. thing. So, personally, for you, yeah. how would you so express that? for me, my family is always pretty understanding and like accepting with like a lot of stuff that I do um, so I don't really have that problem but I don't know because some parents don't need to be parents <laughs> but um, I don't know how to like express that to somebody 
Um, if you obviously like if you don't if you don't like trust a family member or something, tell it like a close friend and maybe they can help you better. I don't I don't know. I feel like there's always someone who you'll better. be able to talk to yeah, who would be there supportive. Be, there should be somebody that you can like open up to for you. Yeah. Well. Do you ever get anxious when posting? If you do, how do you deal with it slash get over it? It depends on what I do, because a lot of the, a lot of what I'm known for is um, like why don't we stuff, um, and I, I get anxious about that because I don't want people to say stuff about it because I do upload a lot of why don't we stuff is because I like them, like it's mm -hmm. not just me just uploading just reviews and stuff just because that's what does good. Um, but yeah, I get anxious about what I upload a lot. Well, not, not really a lot, but. I, I do want it to perform well and not to come across in a bad way. So a lot of times if there's something that I don't like know how it'll come across, I will text so many people. I think I'm pretty sure I've texted you about a few things. Yeah. Like how is this, like is this okay to post? Yeah, yeah, all the time. Yeah, <laughs> so I just, I've run it by a few people before. Why do you think that there is such a stigma around mental health, especially on social media? Like some people are kind of like, still think it's kind of like taboo to talk about and like you shouldn't be super open with it. But, and then there's people like Bradley Wanamaker who like films his panic Yes, yes, I saw that. And then um, there's another one, Jesse Page talks yeah. about mental health a lot um why do i think there's like a, a thing to talk like not to talk about it like yeah um i don't know i mean honestly recently it seems like there's been a few bigger youtubers bigger names out there that do want to talk about it because like they're raising awareness and stuff um i don't know i guess some people are probably like like going back to the other question some people are probably a little nervous to talk about it mm -hmm. like publicly and stuff um but i don't know like, <laughs> I feel like I'm not answering it right. Um, no, you are. Yeah, I feel like people are a little nervous or scared to explain, like, or, or they can't verbalize it. Yeah. <laughs> Me, I can't talk right now. But, like, they don't know how to get it out or, like, explain it, too. So, I mean, that might be one of the causes that people don't talk about it that much, too. Yeah, I get that. They don't, they, may, they might not even understand what they're going through. They might just know, like, they, they know the feeling, but not mm -hmm. the explanation of it, so. And then lastly, what would your advice be for someone who's struggling with anxiety, depression? What are some self-care things that you do for yourself to help you through <laughs> certain situations? Um, music is a big thing for me. Um, I don't know if there's any religious people out there or not, but I, I pray a lot. Um, I close my eyes and like when I can feel air, like if I'm like feeling really anxious, like air in my face helps me feel better. I don't know if that helps other people. Um, but yeah, music is a bit, big one too. Like it helps me take my mind off things. Also, YouTube. I, I watch YouTube, mm -hmm. and I am not feeling that great too. So that's that's what I do. Um, I don't know if they'll help you or not, but everyone is different. Sometimes yeah. people like don't think of certain things. Yeah. So you saying that someone could be like, oh, maybe I'll try that, yeah. and like it'll help them mm -hmm. now. So yeah, it's worth a shot. Yeah. Well. <laughs> that is all of the questions that I have for this video. It slowly got darker. Yeah, <laughs> it's just <laughs> dimming. Yeah. But uh, if you guys like the video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and turn on my post notifications so you never miss a post. Also, again, all of his information will be in the description, so make sure to go check him out. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Yeah. <laughs> That's all we've been doing this weekend is quoting vines. I'm a giraffe. I'm a giraffe! <laughs> I hate doing my intro in front of people. I feel so awkward and like I messed up on mine twice. Not, that's okay. <laughs> so just go for that's it. That's fine. Also yeah, just talk and I'll just sit here. Yeah, that's also <laughs> the worst thing is just being like <laughs> Okay, anyway. You I see know. my mom's eating. <laughs> <laughs> eating. No, you're fine. One of you is Mom. Oh, it looks like Granny's feeding you a French fry. <laughs> 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 Sorry, oh my God. I just no, like that I was so up. good. Okay. That was funny. <laughs>